Alrighty kids, this is why you don't go up to 1500 grit when you're gonna beat something on a piece of wood. No! Hey, welcome back, Back 40 family to Talon Knife Part 12. It is ending today. Well, in this video. It's ending for me today. Uh, this journey on the Talon Knife. I decided to do one more part because there's some stuff I want to get into with this build and just a couple things I want to talk about mistakes and stuff I've learned from this so if you don't remember from last time we have this ready to put the handle on I cleaned it off with acetone acetone I can clean the guard off uh, with a little bit of acetone make sure it's all degreased even though I will be putting a little bit of oil on there to put to prevent rust I do not like rusty blades I don't know about you but I don't uh, and yeah, let's roll. Before we get into gluing, I want to mention one tip. I one tip I learned from listening to the Forgecast. It is a podcast. Shouting you, Alex uh, from Valhalla Ironworks, and you, Sam Towns from Sam Towns Bladesmith channels, will be linked in the description. Please go check out the Forgecast. Uh, very, very good podcast. Um, but something that Sam said is wear two layers of gloves. So you wear the one layer, uh, you use the first layer when you're putting uh, on the epoxy because your hands are messy and then you take that one off and then you use the other one to clean up everything so you don't get it everywhere else. So that's what I'm going to be doing. I wanted to shout out the Forge cast and uh, yeah, let's get the glue one up. Guys, what you just saw me do, and by the way, it feels it's 77 degrees now. What you saw me do is try to get rid of some of the spray paint. I was gonna leave it um, with that uh, weathered look, but I don't want to leave the spray paint. So I actually, there's still some spray paint. You can see this black box there, but it blends in a lot better. Uh, and I wanted to leave that little, those little marks up there, but wasn't able to. But I fixed this up. Now it feels better in my right hand. And it does my left um, it's because of this part right here so I am happy with how that turned out so let's go ahead and glue it up Alrighty guys, told you this was the last part. Now that time lapse that you saw me do, I was moving glue from around the things. And uh, yeah, so I got that done. And then I oiled it up. And I trimmed up the pens. I hope this was worth the 12 parts, 12 weeks of me videoing this. And uh, I there's that little mark right there there's a couple of little things here and there but I'm okay with those little things because no one is perfect so all I did 
how I am oiling my blades right now is I take a little bit of 3-in-1 oil, put it down on my blade, and then I take a, I try to get a lint-free, if you don't have lint-free, I just find shaking it a little bit to get all the stuff off of it works. <laughs> and then you take that oily rag, you rub it on your blade, I even did it on my guard so my guard doesn't rust on me. When you do it with the oily rag, uh, really try and get it in there, like rub it and rub it and rub it. And then I take a dry, clean rag and I go over it and I take off all the excess. And that seems to work fairly well. But this is what she is. I'm not testing it today. I'm letting this epoxy sit 24 hours. Uh, to give it the best chance and since it's a new epoxy it's from combat abrasives I normally use JB weld but I wanted to try this because there's a couple of I follow on Instagram shout out to R RPM or RPN Neil I don't know how to pronounce his last name because I don't want to butcher it um, I think it's RP Neil RPN RPN Neil go give him a follow amazing talented bladesmith um, and uh yeah, this is what she is, boys. I will see you guys in a couple days uh, whenever I can have time to do this, and I'll beat it up against a 2x4. See you in 3, 2, 1. Hey, guys. It is now four days later. It is... What's today? Today is Wednesday. It is the day after St. Patrick's Day. I'm still wearing green, and if you did not wear green yesterday, there's your little pinch. You should be wearing green. I am part Irish and part Welsh, so technically I should be wearing green and orange. <laughs> but anyways, it is very bright outside. It is about 50 degrees. It is a beautiful day, slight breeze, a, a sight breeze. That's why I'm wearing this. I get cold um, very easily, which is funny because I love the cold. But it doesn't help when you're uh, does not help when you're not even 140 pounds and you're uh, 510. So I'm a I'm a thin boy. But today we finally get to test this son of a gun. I am extremely happy. Well, I'm happy that I finally finished it. Uh, it does have some marks because I've been cutting up some cardboard, um, and I'll go into some of the pros and cons uh, mistakes I made on it uh, later in the video and just detail stuff I should say. So we're gonna go ahead and beat up a 2x4, see how long it takes us to cut that in half. Uh, we're gonna do sharpness test, so strength and sharpness test. Eventually I'm gonna be using meat. I just don't have the money to do that right now, but it'd be cheap meat um, and then I can use that for uh, coyote bait uh, whenever I start hunting them because around here, around these parts, I've been hearing uh, reports of coyotes taking chickens uh, in broad daylight, which is not good. So there's a lot back in the yonder woods. Um, we're in our own little separate uh, wood line, I guess you could call it. And then there are people down there. Um, but anyway, what we're first going to do, we're going to cut up some cardboard to get a base establishment to see where that edge is. We're going to hit up a 2 by or chop up a 2 by 4 and then chop up some more cardboard and even might chop up some rope that I got. It's about that thick. It's from Tonto Parts 15, I think that was. And, uh... Yeah, I'm not going to link that down in the description because that was a very long video and I did not know how to operate a camera back then <laughs> or edit very well. I'm not saying I edit very good now, but anyways, I have grown a lot. And uh, yeah, let's get into the sharpness test. And uh, don't throw away your cardboard. You can use it like this. And cut these flaps off that now the uh, least favorite part about these testing videos is the cleanup I hope I have y'all in frame okay so it cuts very well let me get a little hair action so it's definitely not as sharp as the rest of the blade okay so it's not exactly hair shaving. Up here is a little bit dull for some reason. I don't know why. And uh, that's cutting the hair. All right, now that we got that established, we're gonna cut this guy. This might have nails in it, but 
it's an older 2x4, I'm just using junk stuff. And I'm going to move this vise out, I think, and I'm going to attach it into that. Um, we'll see how that goes. And that will be in there in 3, 2, 1, boom, got it. That was, uh, that was pretty easy. <laughs> Anyways, I just got to move that table out of the way, and then I think I'm going to come at it cutting down like this, like that, and then boom, boom, boom. And uh, then we'll cut up some more cardboard, but let's go ahead and chop that 2x4 and hopefully nothing breaks and nothing snaps. Safety third, kids. Let's hope this camera angle works. Oh. oh man, that last swing, it just wrecked that. Holy cow. Wow. I did not expect that. Alright, let's go ahead and finish dropping it. Ugh. Alrighty kids, this is why you don't go up to 1500 grit when you're going to beat something on a piece of wood. No! Okay, I would be fine with a chip, because chip actually means it's hard. But that is a dag on fart knock and roll. Gah. See how I can that's the size of my oh my land. Golly. And it's only from here to hear that it took effect so I don't know it has to be something with the heat treatment or when I was grinding it it just got too hot at one point but you can see on this side hear that that's just a complete roll wow 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 another thing that I'm not happy about is this handle is somewhat loose now um, and I think I did not do the epoxy right I think I got the um, mixture uh, wrong and I also think I because I hit this with the 36 I grounded with the 36 then I hit it with a thousand grit to highlight all the high spots and I think I forgot yeah I think I forgot to rough up this part um, where the handles attached to so the epoxy I don't think gripped there properly and other than those mistakes I mean there's obviously that mistake right there it was doing fine when I was just doing little short hacks and then it got to a point where it just won't so what would it cause that what would it cause for me hitting the 2x4 it's doing fine and then all of a sudden BAM did I just hit it at a wrong angle because I was going on a diagonal and then I was hitting it like this so I guess I just hit it at a wrong point and then it decided to turn not turn roll I don't know I don't know how how would you I don't know how to solve that one that's gonna affect the sharpness test a little bit all right let's go ahead and get that sharpness test done with and uh, I am not happy about that. Not at all. Okay, cardboard time. Hmm. Okay, so 
from that little slice I just found up here is a little bit dull right up until about here is still sharp it's just I don't know if you can see it's a little wavy. I'll see if I can get a picture of that and then it's still sharp in between here so that means I just had a weak point where it rolled and I also have another little itty bitty roll right there let me test the tip real quick I mean it's definitely not as sharp as it was but it still cuts cardboard which is saying something hey when still cuts my hair at this point let's try up there I don't think it will nope still cuts my hair okay and I almost cut myself coronavirus <laughs> oh yeah by the way this is Wednesday so you're seeing this this Saturday in one week it went from zero to 100 I mean overnight it almost seems like it's crazy how fast that just went Bam. so it just looks like those two points were just weak I will be testing knives like my friends that I'm making sorry I'm in shadow like my friends that I'm making I'm gonna be testing it before I put the handle on it's just I need to figure out a system to do it with a hidden tang um, but generally I test them before I like hand sand them and stuff like that put it on the handle I just can't do it with uh, hidden tangs quite yet. I am clean up my mess and then I will see y'all in the shed. Alrighty guys, back in the shed. Look at old Lori just sitting up there looking all pretty lack. All right, as y'all know, it rolled, rolled, yeah, it rolled. And uh, handle's a little, not handle, uh, the guard is a little loose. Other than that, it still cuts my hair, so I'll take that as a win. I take this as a, I don't know how I'd take this. I take this as a learning experience. I never fail. I win or I learn. And uh, yeah, I still need to put up the quote. Um, I'm trying to decide where to write it. And I put the combat sticker up there. I'm trying to decide where I want to write stuff. Um, and uh, something that Safety Third Forge Outdoors and More commented, channel link in the description. Please go subscribe to him. He is an amazing dude. Something he said, uh, quote, that he wanted me to put up is, uh, bladesmiths don't, or knife makers, bladesmiths don't make mistakes. They just make smaller knives. So that's one I'm going to be putting up. And uh, stuff like I just said is, uh, I never fail. I win or I learn. Pros, still sharp, it's still sharp, it still cuts. Um, cons, so you can kind of see the roll, it still cuts as I said. Cons is it rolled, um, guards a little loose. I still have a couple scratch marks I think, where I have scratch marks. Um, I didn't get all these scratches going in the same way. And then this. I had a, when I was grinding the pins in the handle, I accidentally nicked up the guard a little bit, but that's okay. And, uh, yeah, I think that's about it. Um, oh yeah, one of the other cons, it's, it's, I could have shaped it a little bit better to my fist. But, uh, other than that, I think, I think, I think, I think that is it. When I make up, when I think that's blade number seven, when I get to blade number ten, I will show you my knives, all my knives that I have made, finished, basically. Um, and uh, if you're watching this far into the video, no idea how long, uh, how long this video is going for. So if you're here watching me say this or listening to this as whatever, thank you very much. I appreciate that. And the new project is going to be a drum roll, the Dirk. This is going to be the new Saturday video project. It's going to be a very short series. All I have to do is grind the bevels, put on the handle. It should be relatively short, but you know, that could always change in an instant. And then I might be doing the same hand sanding technique 36 and the 1000. Um, my friend kind of liked the look of that. So, 
Uh, yeah, I'll be going into more things on this in the future when that comes out next Saturday when you're seeing this. And uh, then after that it will be my brother's recurve buoy or my mom's knife. I'm not sure on that yet. Uh, and yeah, that's about it guys. Thank you for following along on this Talon knife journey. My tests are going to be a little bit variant for each knife depending on what they're used for, but the basic test is wood and cardboard and hair um, and stuff like that. Because if it cuts your hair, then it's pretty sharp. Or sharp-ish. But, uh, yeah. Thank you for sticking with me. I don't know. Let's see. It would be 12 weeks of videos, and I think it took me a couple, two months to build something like that. I'll leave something up here to the first video, uh, and I'll put up a date when I first did that. I think that was back in December when I filmed that, but I posted it late December, I think. I just can't work on it every single day because I have to edit videos and I'm in school full time, so I'm trying to get that education, you know what I mean? Jelly beans, so I can actually live in society without being, uh, you know, uh, an idiot, basically. <laughs> but, uh, this is weird being the last part, and I called it. Uh, I forget what part it was, but I said I'll probably finish it up on part 12, and it was part 12 and uh, yeah it's crazy to me I finally finished a knife it feels weird but it feels good it feels right and it feels good to have a knife done uh, um, and uh, yeah I think this concludes this series in this part thank you for watching back 40 family and if you're not part of the back 40 family yet all you have to do hit the subscribe button hit that notification bell and give this video a thumbs up other than that, guys, please remember Jesus always loves you. I love you. And y'all, please have a fantastic day.